I made a video in which I showed some of my published schematics in the past and this was one of the screenshots. I'm gonna publish uh, the link so everyone interested can make this circuit. It's an amplifier, linear amplifier, between say 100 Hz and 15 kilohertz or so. And I want to demonstrate the circuit now, how it was made in real. And this is the real circuit. Very, very simple uh, power supply transformer. Uh, 7, uh, 8, 1, 12 stabilizer power supply. And here that linear amplifier made with a Darlington. And here you see the Darlington. And I will give the link so you can study it. Darlington made with two times a BD139. And with that Darlington we can pump up the signal from this generator that's here. To a level from say 8 volts or so. That's quite interesting. Sometimes you need an oscillator signal in the audio band that has a certain level. And in this case you can set that level here. And what I want to stress and point out is that the working point from that Darlington is very important. And the working point from transi uh, one transistor stage is always very important. And that's set by two resistors here. In this case, one to the positive, one to the negative lead. And I've used here a uh, potentiometer with which, you, with which you can set the working point variable. And that's very important. And I want to show now with the help of the oscilloscope the effects from the working point. Here is that circuit. And with the potentiometer now in the middle of the screen uh, you can set that working point. That also means that you can change the waveform. And that's uh, in my opinion very interesting. This circuit is by the way a generator, square wave generator combined with that Darlington and amplifier. So here you see generator uh, 700 Hertz up to 21 kilohertz input output and also the level is important the level uh, with which the signal from the generator is sent into that Darlington amplifier. This is my scope at the moment and I'm going to change the working point now. I've uh, made a connection between B and C. That means that we are going to listen and look uh, from it in this frequency 5.5 up to 21 kilohertz. I changed the working point now. I have not connected my counter but anyway working point is changed. And this is what happens. And also when I change the level, you can see that the Darlington is driven with a more uh, fierce signal that has also certain effects. And here also the output level when the output level is changed, the, um, the, the waveform also changes substantially. I cannot go in details because otherwise the video gets far too long. But I want to change to a low frequency, for instance here. Now we are looking on in the frequency band um, BD 1.3 kHz up to 5.3 kHz. I change the working point 
from the Darlington. I changed the level and I changed the other output level, the output level from the generator. And I'm going to do something to the time base from the scope. And again here you can see changing the working point has effects on how pure that square wave is amplified. So that, that was all to tell more or less. I cannot go in detail. But I wanted to point out that the, the working point from a transistor or a Darlington is extremely important and in practice when this is a one transistor audio amplifier the working point is completely decisive for pure amplification from the sound. And that's also my advice when you want 